Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus rose from the dead. He is alive. He is alive. He, he is, is alive. alive. So, what now? Go. Go tell. Tell. What do you need? To share the good news. We'll go. I will go. Imagine your best friend, let's call him Matt, was having the worst week of his life and everyone at school was staring at him awkwardly. Everyone kept whispering and talking about what was going on with him. On top of that, whenever someone asked anyone, are you Matt's friend? He or she would say, no man, I don't even know him. Or, no man, you're thinking of someone else. Or, no, we're not together at break yesterday. You saw that it was breaking Matt's heart and that he felt all alone. How do you think Matt reacted to everyone who let him down? It certainly couldn't have been easy for him. No one would blame him if he no longer wanted to be friends with everyone who pretended not to know him. What a sad situation. Well, that happened to Jesus when Peter pretended not to know him. I think it must have hurt Jesus' heart and he must have felt very alone. But he forgave Peter and gave him another chance. He also forgives us every time we make mistakes and sin. He also always wants to be our friend. It's amazing that Jesus loves us so much that He can and wants to forgive us. Often, this is exactly what we need to go and tell how wonderful life with Jesus is, to see that we are forgiven and that we can try again. We can go and tell everyone about how Jesus' love never runs out and that He never gives up on us, but always gives another chance. Hear how Peter was forgiven and how Jesus gave him another chance. Let's read from John 21, verse 15 to 17. After breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Yes, Master, you know I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. He then asked a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Yes, Master, you know I love you. Jesus said, shepherd my sheep. Then he said a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was upset that he asked for a third time, do you love me? So he answered, Master, do you know everything there is to know? You've got to know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my sheep. Super special. Three times Peter said he didn't know Jesus. Three times Jesus gave him a chance to say he, he does love Jesus. And each time Jesus tells him that there is important work that he can do for him. Jesus gives him a second chance. He reminds him that, that he, Jesus, remains Peter's friend always. Maybe today you need to hear that there is nothing you can do that makes that Jesus no longer wants to be your friend. There is nothing that makes Jesus love you any less. He loves you so much that He forgives you and gives you another chance again and again. When you realize you've been forgiven and you no longer need to feel bad, you can do the important work He invites you to do with Him with a happy heart. We can go and tell and share His love and forgiveness with everyone. Peter 
becomes one of the leaders of the new church that follows Jesus. And he makes a big difference in many people's lives. I don't think he could have done this if Jesus had not come to show him that he was forgiven and was still his friend and gives him another chance. How wonderful that Jesus never turns away from us and that he always continues to believe in us even when there are times when we don't even believe in ourselves. Do you perhaps need to realize today that you have been forgiven so that you can go tell the good news? Then say with me, I am forgiven. My friend Jesus loves me. I am forgiven. My friend Jesus loves me. Peter's story is also our story in a way. Let's thank Jesus today for every time he forgives us and shows us how much he loves us. Matthew 28 verse 19 to 20 says Matthew 28 verse 19 to 20 says Go to all the nations and then make the people my disciples Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit And remember you are never Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving us. Thank you that you keep forgiving us, no matter what. Thank you for never giving up on us. Thank you that you always believe in us. Thank you for your love. Amen. Bye, friends.